What up, YouTube? T-Movies here. Well, Disney, and Fox for that matter, has set dates for loads of his upcoming films. And they also uh, delay a couple of stuff as well. So... Yeah, but anyway, here's the, uh, like, they uh, they pretty much set dates for, like, uh, for, like, you know, a couple of, uh, Fox films, as well as, like, entire Marvel films from now until, like, 2023 or whatnot. I mean, dang. Marvel, like, since Avengers Endgame, it's gonna be interesting to see where the MCU is gonna go from here. Like, we already know that, um, there has already been release dates for, uh, Black Widow, uh, The Eternals, uh, Chang chi Doctor Strange, uh, Black Panther 2. But these films don't really have titles. Uh, some of the untitled uh, Marvel films don't really have titles. Excuse me, titles yet. So here's what the uh, dates are. All right. In 2020, uh, 20th Century Fox has moved its upcoming Kingsman uh, film titled The King's Men from February 14, 2020, all the way to September um, 18, 2020. Now, now the Kingsman, of course, stars, stars the likes of uh, Air, Harris uh, Dickinson, um, Ray Fiennes. Uh, it's actually more of a prequel to the uh, other Kingsman movies, so yeah, we're not going to get Tara Egerton or anything. But uh, anyway, uh, the Kingsman will face off against the Michael B. Jordan film titled uh, Without Remorse and, uh, the, and the untitled Lord and Miller uh, anime film. So, some interesting, I mean, although the last time Kingsman got released around September was, uh, you know, going to the circle, which I actually like, but the movie did not do so well financially and critically, so I'm a little worried about this film having a September release, you know, but I could see why they decided to move it up from uh, February 14th. I think it was September release could be a little better. I mean, February 14th is already jam-packed with Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Fancy Island, and, um... Photograph, so that's a pretty packed day. All right. Anyway, uh, 20th Century Fox has also uh set a a um, November 13th date for the upcoming erotic film titled Deep Water, which stars Ben Affleck and Anna De Armas and is directed by Fail Attraction director Adrian Lange. And it's about uh, this uh, well-to-do um, husband who uh, allows his wife to have affairs in order to uh, avoid a divorce, uh, but becomes a prime suspect in the disappearance of the uh, her lovers. The film will open the same day as Paramount's Clifford movie, so interesting competition there. Anyway, uh, speaking of Affleck, uh, 20th Century Fox has also set a December... A December 25th date for the upcoming film titled The Last Duel, which will be directed by Ridley Scott, and will also feature people like uh, Ben Affleck, who will also uh, write the script, along with Matt Damon, Alan Driver, and uh, Jody Comer. And it's about uh, King Charles VII, who declares that uh, King John uh, the Courage uh, sells his uh, dispute, dispute with his uh, secure um, by uh, challenging him to a duel. So... Not bad. George Wise having some interesting films for Fox. I mean, let's be real. Fox really needs a head. I mean, lots of, like, since, uh, you know, I'm um, being acquired by Disney, Fox had struggled this year with stuff like uh, Stuber, um, Ad Asha, so they really need a great 2020 film. So, anyway, uh, now, uh, the last still will, besides, uh, going, um, to opening uh, in December. It will also get, like, a limited release in December and open wide in uh, January, so around Oscar season. Alright. Now, for 2021, uh, Fox has has moved its upcoming film tied Ron's Gone Wrong, which was set to open on November 6, 2020, but will now hit theaters on February 26, 2021, where it will open against an untitled M. Night Shyamalan director film. Now, in Ron's Gone Wrong, set in a world where uh, walking, talking, digitally connected uh, boss had become children's best friend, uh, Ron's Gone Wrong tells the story of an 11-year-old boy who finds who finds that his robot buddy doesn't uh, quite work. Wow, that sounds interesting. I mean, 
I guess I can see why they moved this because they haven't even started filming the thing yet. Um, and I, on IMDb it says that um, that dude from uh, the Mech, um, Thomas Barbusco, I think that's his last name. Uh, on IMDb it says that uh, he's credited as a star. So, give me a try, sorry. Anyway, uh, now also in twenty twenty one, but there have Fox has also uh, set untitled films. Uh, for uh, that year, um, including, you know, uh, one on April 9th, one on April 23rd, another on April 3rd, um, on August 13th, another film on September 10th, another film on October 1st, then there's another one on October 23rd, and 20, I mean, 22nd, I meant to say, and another on uh, December 3rd. No word on what, what those films could be, but should be a trust, sir. And, you know, Fox will still release his Avatar film on, uh, on December 17th, which is still weird because a week, it was just announced that, uh, Black Adam will come out a week after that, so, ooh, interesting competition there. Alright. Now, Disney has also set a November 19th date for an untitled live-action film that will open, um, against Paramount's Dungeon the Dragon movies. Oh, boy. Another film that could easily be not so well against, uh, another film that could probably uh, hurt Paramount's money. I mean, hey, Dungeons & Dragons has fans, but, but if you guys remember, the last time we had a Dungeons & Dragons movie was the Jeremy Honest one, and we also had that one then, so, ooh, hey, anyway. right, all right, now, coming in 2022, Fox and Blue Sky has pushed its upcoming film, uh, Nimona, from uh, March 5th, 2021 to January 14, 2022. And it will open against a Warner Bros. Um, event film, so that should be interesting. Here's what Nimona is about. Nimona is about a young shapeshifter named Nimona who teams up with a mad scientist named Lord Ballister uh, Blackheart to expose the ruler of the kingdom. Now, they also, now also, uh, the bonus sounds interesting. I mean, this is like, they've been, like, moving this white time. Like, at first it was supposed to come out in February of last year, and then got released in, uh, it was supposed to come out March 2021, and now pushed back a little earlier. I mean, oh, I don't know if this is a production issue or what, but kind of, we'll, we'll see. Kind of a little nervous about that one now. All right. Now, Fox has also slated other uh, films for uh, 2022, including um, a film coming out on January 7th, April 8th, June 10th, uh, September 16th, October 21st, November 11th, and December 23rd. And there's also, uh, and there's also, like, no um, Avatar film uh, opening up that year as well, but there is a uh, untitled Star Wars film coming out in December, uh, 16th, so that should be interesting right there. And Disney will also uh, release a uh, Pixar movie. Will also be, uh, you know, uh, move a uh, Pixar film from March 18th to uh, March, you know, uh, 11th. And there's also a, di like, a entire Disney live action film opening up on, uh, on March 25th. And there's also another one coming out on uh, August 12th, and another, like, a uh, Untimed Marvel film coming out on, uh, on October 7th? Dang. And a, uh, and I should mention, a Untimed Disney Live Action film was also a uh, move from that day, so... A Marvel film coming out on October 7th. I think this has something to do with Joker's, uh, being a success, and Found being a success, so... Proves that you can release any Marvel film in any th week, and it'll make bundles, so... It'd be interesting to see where that Marvel film's going to be now. Alright. Now, of course, also in uh, 2022, Marvel has uh, Black Panther 2 um, coming out on uh, May uh, on uh, May 6th of that year. So, And there's like other Marvel films coming out on uh, February 18th, uh, July 29th, and October uh, 7th. Now, coming on in October, uh, in uh, 2023... Fox has some really big slates, including um, some films coming out on uh, January 13th, uh, March 14th, June 19th, uh, June 9th, I mentioned that, uh, September 15th, October 20th, 
uh, November 10th. And Avatar uh, 3 will still come out on December 22nd. So, and uh, Disney slash Marvel will also open a film on uh, February 17th, um, as well as uh, May 5th, um, July 20th, and November 3rd. So, Marvel has some interesting stuff coming out in 2023. And Disney has also uh, scheduled um, release dates on March 10th, 2023, May uh, 26th, 2023. Uh, July 14th, 2023, October 11th, 2023, October 6th, uh, 2023, and December 15th, 2023. And Pixar has also set a couple of dates for 2023 as well, including one on uh, June 16th, and um, with a uh, Disney animation film coming out um, on November uh, 22nd, obviously the week before Thanksgiving, because almost every uh, Disney anime film has come out around the week before Thanksgiving, so they're keeping... So, yeah, they're keeping that tradition. Anyway, uh, also, Marvel will release a, a film on February 17th, May 5th, July 20th, and uh, November 3rd. Now, no word on what these, like, Marvel films, Disney films, or whatever, no word on what they're going to be. Maybe some of the Pixar movies, who knows? Maybe they could be a Toy Story 4, a, a Toy Story 5, or uh, maybe Incredibles 3. Maybe something original. That's always a possibility. Uh, some of the uh, Marvel dates could easily be, uh, maybe some of the Fox dates could be, uh, you know, Blade maybe, or or maybe um, Captain Marvel 2, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Deadpool 3. It should be interesting to see what those films are going to be. But let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on, you know, uh, the dates that Disney has, uh, you know, set for themselves from now, like from 2020 until 2023? Do you like some of the um, release schedules? Are you... Are you uh, looking forward to uh, any of them? And what are your predictions on what some of the untitled, like, comic book films, like, Marvel films could probably be? Uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is T-Movie signing off.